what's going on everyone welcome to texas honda channel if you're new here definitely consider subscribing so today we're going to be working on the tl doing some things to it tail lights i'm going to lightly tint them so i'm going to take them out and just do a light tint with some 2k clear over them so that it gives it a little bit darker of an effect but not to where it's uh too dark or anything like that i just want a little bit darker um, then we're going to actually be doing the brake pads so I'm going to be replacing the brake pads just with some cheap ones for right now because I need something to get me by. They're kind of noisy and they're like squeaking and stuff. So I just want something on there. It stops perfectly fine, but I went ahead and bought some brake vests. And I think these are the Brembo brakes because the six-speed manual and the Type S, they all have uh, Brembo brakes from what I was reading. So I might have Brembo brakes on here. Not really sure until we pull it apart. Uh, it's just the caliper but these rotors are actually warped and not good that's why i went with some cheap pads because i'm going to be ordering some drilled and slotted uh, once i figure out whether these are the brembo brakes or not so while it's apart i decided i was going to paint it i was going to use the grabber green uh, on the caliper i was going to go with the krylon but i painted this piece right here and it's a little lighter on the krylon and i like the little bit darker green so i'm gonna go with the uh, grabber green from duple color Plus, it's high heat. This stuff isn't, but it works perfectly fine on calipers. I've used it for years, and it didn't have any issues. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take the wheel off. We're going to get these on there, and I'm going to paint it and all that good stuff. Now, the methods I'm using may be different from what you guys do it and how you want to do it, but this is what works for me, and it's my car, so I'll do it how I want it. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I went ahead and basically just papered off around the tail light and rear uh, side marker. Uh, this was a lot faster and easier method than pulling the tail light out because you have to remove the bumper to get these tail lights out. So the four eight millimeter screws on the back of the tail light are not a hard task. It was just taking the whole rear bumper off just to get the tail lights out. So this was the easier method for me. So I wiped it down with some. Uh, isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag and now they're ready to ba basically get the coat so i'm going to do a couple passes until i feel comfortable with it you can't go too heavy with the nightshade or it, uh, then it's too dark so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it doing it will get darker as it dries um, that should be plenty dark enough and still completely visible so when I hit the brakes you'll see the lights perfectly fine still after that's dry we'll hit it with some 2k clear uh, I already did the other side so once this is dry we'll be good to go like a Brembo because it only has a single piston so it probably just has the standard sized brakes we'll know for sure by comparing the brake pad against the uh, ones I bought okay so it does have the standard brakes and not the Brembo um, this one here doesn't look too bad it still has a lot of meat on it but we're gonna go ahead and replace them anyways because it is squeaking um, like I said it's probably this actual rotor itself which i do plan on getting upgraded ones so this is just to get me by yeah this back one looks a little bad not too bad though okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and clean the caliper and everything up i'm gonna paint it with it on the vehicle um, reducing the overspray and all that just because i don't want to open the uh, brake line um, there's no point in doing that since all I have to do is compress this with a C-clamp. So I'm going to compress it with a C-clamp, clean these up, and paint them with them on the vehicle. 
taking it out for a spin make sure that it stops good and no squeaks see what we got. oh yeah it's definitely stopping even better than before which it already stopped really good so nice well the squeak is definitely gone so that's what I was going for but uh back to the house and we'll go over some stuff when I get there. It's a great day for a barbecue. But uh, yeah, back at the house. Last night I went ahead and painted the wheels um, and obviously you've seen the green paint of the calipers. The wheel paint video is going to be on my other channel. If you guys are curious, I'll leave a link in the description. They look pretty good. Got the new brake pads on and it stops way better and I just like how it looks. It'll look really good once I get the rest of the car painted. Um, a lot of people like this color. It's not a bad color. I just, I want to do it the way I want to do it. But uh, while I was at it, I went ahead and painted this top piece on the intake manifold, uh, the grabber green, and basically sanded it down, wire wheeled some of it so that I could get it to polish up a little bit. Uh, hit it with a couple coats of the grabber green, then some 2K clear after about 10, 15 minutes. And while it was drying, I went ahead and cleaned up the top where it says 3.2 VTEC with some brake clean and a uh, shop towel, and then used some brake clean and a Q-tip to get the finer areas. And here it is. Looks a lot better. Just a couple little things, nothing crazy, um, but the brakes definitely needed done. So I am going to order the drilled and slotted most likely tomorrow because. I should be getting paid tomorrow, um, but uh, yeah, super happy with it. It's driving great, looks good, stops good. So uh, this will buy me some time until I get the drilled and slotted. Also, I did get my um, 2007 ECU, the RDA884. You can use an automatic or a manual, it doesn't matter. Um, this 06 cannot be tuned until I have an 07 or 08 computer in, but I'll have a whole video coming out on that. So definitely stay tuned. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, want to see more like this, definitely check out my playlist I've made. And uh, subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell icon on. Get notified of every upload. But I'm going to get back to uh, my food. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And as I like to say, God bless. Stay safe. Stay awesome.